Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So next up is a lathe cabinet. Now those of you who've followed me for a while know I, I don't do much turning and I don't claim to be a turner, but it is something that I want to do in the future. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and design a, a cabinet that goes in that corner. I'll throw a picture of it up on the screen so you can see. The plans aren't done yet um, because I'm still working out kind of what I want to do on one end of the cabinet. Um, but I had enough information to get going. So I went ahead and broke down the sides. There'll be three cabinets in total and I broke down the sides off camera. I just used the track saw and the table saw to break this stuff down. Nothing spectacular there. Um, and next up I got to cut the notches for the toe kicks and of course get the dados in it for the bottoms and, and all that good stuff. But we'll go through that you know, kind of one piece at a time. But I want to flip the camera over to this corner over here and kind of show you what I have in mind. Um, now that you've seen a picture of it, hopefully it, it will kind of make sense to you and it'll all come together. So let me move the camera over to, to where the lathe is and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so this is kind of the corner where I want this cabinet to go. Now I have a fairly inexpensive grizzly lathe, um, but it, it's obviously a full-size lathe, so if I want to upgrade this later, I can. I have some room to grow. Uh, I do have a little bit more room on the door side, and I'll also have a little bit more room on the inside. So the goal with my, my design was to have a vertical pull-out drawer on this side, which I can pull out and will house the lathe tools. Um, and then it will wrap around on this side where I can have my sharpening station. The Tormek will go there and I also have plans of adding another slow speed grinder because I think that they're a little bit better for doing lathe tools. Uh, obviously the shop vac goes and this corner gets cleaned up. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna put the same top on it as I have on the miter station, but obviously that would tie in nicely. Um, I also have two drops here for dust collection. I have a, a little cleanup hose on this one for right now. And this one was always intended to be dedicated to dust collection for the lathe. Now in hindsight, I wish that these two would have been flipped, um, but it is what it is. So if I need to shorten one up or, or whatever, I can do that. The NordFab makes that pretty simple. So that's my goal is to kind of dress up this corner and and make this corner a lot more usable and therefore getting me to the lathe, I hope, a little bit more um, so that I can become a little bit more proficient at the lathe. So let's get back to the cabinets. Uh, probably tomorrow morning, uh, I'm going to start cutting the toe kicks and start prepping that plywood to make cabinets so we can start putting this together. Okay, so I've set up my fence and a stop block so that I don't have to measure each one of these out for the toe kick. I can just simply cut them all and move on to the next step. Next up is 
the grooves in the top. Um, on the two side cabinets, I'm actually going to do like a web frame in there. Um, but on the center cabinet, I'm actually going to do full back since that's a corner cabinet. Uh, but irregardless, they all still got to get the groove in the top to allow that three-quarter material. Okay, so like I said, the corner cabinet is going to get a three-quarter inch backer. The other two cabinets are not. Uh, so I need to go ahead and cut that rabbit. And since I'm all set up, this is as good a time as any to get that cut. Okay, so I've switched back over to my regular blade. I'm fixing to cut the bottoms for each one of the two side cabinets. So I've set a, a block up here so that my piece doesn't get pinched between the fence and the blade. Um, and I'm just going to cut these. Now these are the off cuts from making the sides. So they're already cut to the perfect width for me. Um, I just need them long enough to, to get what I need out of them. Okay, so I didn't have a panel wide enough for the bottom of the longer cabinet and rather than going and buying a whole other sheet of plywood just to get that out of it, I took the off cuts from two of the three sheets and essentially just glued them together to make one panel that's 22 inches wide, which is the width of the cabinet. Um, I did put a couple of dominoes in it, but I don't really think we needed it. Um, but anyways, that'll make up the bottom shelf. It's below the drawers. You're never going to see it anyway. Um, so rather than having a bunch of extra material around, I went this way. Okay, so I got a first dry fit of this first cabinet and it all came together really nice. I needed to coax it just a little bit. Uh, these strips that are in the top will ultimately be part of the, that frame in the top. But they're just cut and set in here for now. And I'm not going to glue those in until I finish the frame, but I'm going to use them for a spacer to go ahead and get this cabinet essentially glued up. And, and then we can move on with these frames on the top. But I'm going to do this with both this small cabinet and then the wider cabinet on the other side. And then uh, we'll come back and work on that center cabinet after these are complete. Okay, so while I got them all clamped out like this, I can go ahead and get my measurements for making the rest of these top frames. And then uh, pull all this apart and I'll just take it over the bench and do it with the domino and, and glue it all up. Um, all the pieces I have to cut are the same size, so that makes batching these little parts out easily. Apologies for the audio. Seems I bumped a setting on the camera and I didn't notice it until I was in edit. So again, apologies for the, the audio and hopefully we got that all corrected now.
Okay, it's time to get going on the corner cabinet. And as I kind of said up front, uh, the plans aren't completely solidified on this project yet. Uh, I thought all along in this corner cabinet, because there's so much space in it, that I wanted like a half shelf in it, um, which would lead me to cut some dados here and, and, and put a full half shelf in it. However, you know, after seeing it kind of standing up in the corner, I think I'm only going to put a half shelf along one, probably the short side, which will allow me to put taller items in this cupboard if I so choose to do so. I think I just get more options that way. Um, and I think I will just cleat them in um, after the cabinet is, is pretty much installed. So for now, uh, I've cut the, the sides and we're going to start getting this cabinet together. Um, it's a little bit tricky uh, because to conserve what little plywood I have left and save me a trip to the, to the local hardwood dealer, the, uh, the two long sides are only going to go from here. Um, and this will allow me, when I put this, the bottom shelf in, to tie all of that together and actually come underneath this wall, the back wall, and support it. Um, and just give me more options to put this floor in after I actually construct this cabinet. So, I'm going to construct this cabinet pretty much kind of one side at a time using uh, squares and get the two long sides put on these and then I'll come back and tie the whole thing together. Okay, I got my 90 degree brackets on here. I'm just going to glue this in and clamp it up for now and then after this glue cures some I'll come back and add screws just to strengthen this joint up because I do have to move this cabinet to get it to its final home. Once it's there, it'll be fine because it gets screwed to the wall, so it won't it won't go anywhere. Okay, so there I got the basic uh, corner cabinet glued up. Um, I still got to put the floor in it, but I'm going to have to pick up some more uh, material for the bottom in the morning. So that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. So tomorrow we'll get after getting the bottom in it and then getting start getting that door framed in and tying this corner cabinet together. Okay, so I got the bottom pushed in, and I just created some strips here uh, to beef up the, the bottom to give me my level surface. Um, they fit right into the rabbits on the side, so that's all good. And I just created a couple of pocket screws here to secure them down. Um, I'll also glue. Um, and the floor is screwed in down here, so I know it's good and secure, not going anywhere. So I'm just going to get this stuff uh, glued and screwed up. I know that this video is getting a little bit long. so. Uh, when we come at it again in the next video, we'll tackle, obviously, that front door frame that goes on here, as well as the door in the inner shelf. Um, but we'll also tackle all the other drawers and pullouts, um, and we'll just see how far we get. So until next time, take care, guys.